Okay, we will be able to do it. Um, how are you, everyone? Uh, how are you, everyone in the class? Uh, guys in the class, can you hear me? Please, uh, if you uh, can hear me, please uh, let me know. So, yeah. Abdurrahman, did you are in the class? You're new, mashallah. Welcome, welcome, Abdurrahman. Nice to meet you. Okay. You're welcome. Uh, Taib, uh, there is an account. Thank you very much. There is an account carries the name of class. Okay. It uh, means these are the students in the class in the school now. So the, the offline students, I mean. Okay. And uh, the others are online. So please, the ones in the class, uh, uh, tell me that you can hear me to make sure uh, that uh, in action with us. Tayyip, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Okay. Um, are there any students who uh, join the class for the first time or join these sessions for the first time? Danny. Is there any student who didn't join any physics class this year? in the class or online, even online. So you all, alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, are following out there. Mashallah, Montez. Montez, Mashallah. Montez, Mashallah, Potter. Give me. Okay, so uh, let's continue. But I'm, I know that the first week, I know and you know that uh, the first week is uh, considered to be uh, uh, some time to uh, make sure that all the students will uh, uh, be with us. And uh, so we may need to repeat one time, another time, and to move slowly, especially in the first uh, week to make sure that all the students join the uh, class, either uh, online or offline. Okay, and inshallah, uh, as soon as possible, we uh, will be together, inshallah, uh, in the class face to face. Okay, so uh, inshallah, uh, today we will go forward. Okay, in topic four. But let me say a very important point here, okay? Inshallah Rabbil Alameen, starting the next week, uh, the rate of uh, information explained, the rate of points explained in the class will be uh, so faster than the rate in the first week. And we, there is no chance to repeat and repeat. This happens only as usual in, the first week, okay, uh, uh, till the, the, the student number balances and so on, okay? So please, starting the next week, please, 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 you have to take uh, 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 care about physics any minute in, uh, in the physics period. Well, let's go forward. Uh, we talked about... Hmm, here is here, Mister. I will start attending in the beginning of the month. Am I going to study online or what? I will start attending in the beginning of my ten. Am I going to study online? Inshallah, but tell us, all the students, uh, يعني, يعني, you are not able to join. يعني حزمك طبعا لا. Akid, inshallah, I mean, we will introduce solution for all the students, inshallah. خلاص. يعني واحد مش عارف يرجع. هنعمل له هنقوله لا بلاش تدرس. ذكر لوحدك. طبعا لا. مش هنزل محد إن شاء الله رب العالمين. تمام. وانتوا عارفين إن إحنا إن شاء الله رب العالمين. We agreed together. We go side by side with the the path of the school periods in the path of 
uh, 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 revising syllabus by uh, solving past papers. But after balancing this weekend, inshallah, Rabbil Alam. Um, so here, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, today is 2, 9, 20, uh, 20, 20, 20, deep in the past, okay, uh, 20, uh, 21, okay, uh, this is uh, physics. And this is Mr. Habsabli, physics This is uh, 0625. Okay, topic four. Last period we talked about the magnetic the magnetic materials and the non-magnetic materials. Let's remember again. Zuhair, you have another account. Zuhair Salim, you have another account and you're trying to join the, the, the meeting. Type, okay. Okay, okay. Type, okay, okay, no problem. So uh, here. From the beginning of the year, we talked about what's what's meant by magnet, and we explained what's meant by magnet. After that, we talked about what's meant by materials, and we uh, what's what's uh, meant by magnetic materials and then magnetic materials. We said that the magnetic materials are the materials those are attracted to the magnetic field, and uh, uh, they can be magnetized. The magnetic material is the opposite. We classified the magnetic materials into two main categories. The first category is uh, the first category is uh, uh, the uh, the first category. Uh, sorry, sorry, just a moment. The first category is uh, the soft magnetic the magnetically soft materials and the second category the magnetically hard materials we explained the difference between them i gave you several examples and i asked you to pay attention to the following three examples iron we said the iron is what huh we said the iron is what huh, huh? i'm waiting for your answers in the chat yes yeah, soft magnetic magnetically soft material okay thank you very much Okay, and we said that the, the steel is what? Huh? Excellent answer, magnetically hard material. And we said, we said that the stainless steel is what? Hmm? Excellent uh, non-magnetic materials, okay? We said that this, the magnetically soft materials are used to make the permanent uh, 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 magnets or the uh, uh, temporary magnets and the electromagnets. Huh? The magnetically soft, permanent or temporary and electromagnetic, excellent temporary and electromagnetic magnets. Okay, because they can gain magnetism fast and lose magnetism fast. Okay. Um, and we said that the, uh, the, the, uh, the uh, uh, magnetically hard materials are the opposite, okay? And they is, so they are used to, uh, sorry, sorry. Okay, sorry. A magnetically hard material is used uh, 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 to make permanent magnets. Okay. Um, now, inshallah, Rabbil Alameen, today, this is the summary of what we explained in uh, the, and we said some, some uses of uh, permanent magnets, okay, and some uses of uh, temporary magnets, okay. Now, inshallah, Rabbil Alameen, and starting now, we will 
talk about some important properties related mainly to the permanent magnets and uh, um, they may be variable in case of a permanent magnet, uh, sorry, uh, in case of uh, uh, temporary magnet. So let's go. Now we will talk about some important property. Now, if we have a bar magnet like this, if we have a bar magnet like this. So I mean, we know that the, the, the magnet has many shapes. Yeah, I mean, the magnet may be bar magnet, the magnet may be a, a disc magnet, the magnet may be horseshoe magnet, something like you, but the two branches are uh, coming close to each other like this. It's called horseshoe magnet. The U-shaped magnet, the C-shaped magnets, all these are uh, magnets, okay? But in our study, we are interested in the bar magnet, okay? The magnet which is, uh, which, uh, whose shape is a bar, okay? Uh, 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 it's something like the rectangular block, like this, okay? Uh, this bar magnet, okay, uh, when we observe its shape, we will find the following. We will find two parts, okay? Uh, this part is blue, and the other part is almost blue. The other part is almost red. Please be careful. It doesn't mean they are two parts. No, they are not two parts. This is the, um, the, the magnet, the same bar. This is the same bar, uh, bar okay? But half the bar, the, the bar is uh, colored with uh, uh, blue, and the other half is colored with red, okay? This is the direct observation uh, uh, when we see, when we look at a bar magnet, okay? Tell you, to understand what is, what's meant by this point, let's make a very important experiment. Now, we will hang or suspend this magnet from its midpoint from its midpoint, okay? Well, such that it rotates freely, it rotates freely, okay? So it can rotate freely right and left, right and left and so on. Well, if we ask ourselves, If we ask ourselves, what will happen if we hit this magnet such that it rotates like this, okay? We will find the magnet after leaving it to stop spontaneously without any action of us, okay? And if there is no neighboring magnet, okay? We will find this magnet takes uh, this direction, for example, okay? If we follow this direction, which is labeled towards it, the blue end points, we will find the geographic south in this direction. So here, we will find the GU, the GU means geographic south, yani the, the geographic south pole of the direction, the geographic south pole. Okay, if we follow the direction which is shown by the other end, we will find it's going towards the geographic north. It means the northern pole. So approximately with an angle of deflection, we are not interested in this angle of deflection. This is not, it's not in, in our syllabus, okay? So let's first of all finish our syllabus, and then we will talk about, inshallah, I mean, extra details, okay? Now, 
someone may say, Mr. If this happens by chance, okay? We are not sure this is, a, you know, it, it, it will be the same every time. So to make sure that it will be the same every time, what will we do? We will repeat the experiment, okay? So if we repeat the experiment or hit the uh, uh, magnet and give it the chance to move right and left, okay, freely again, okay, we will find a very strange phenomenon. What is it? It will take the same situation such that it's blue end points at the geographic south and it's red end points at the geographic north, okay? This is only for the permanent magnet. So here I'm talking about the permanent magnet, by the way, be careful. Well, so what will happen here in this situation? This situation shows us there is some terminal which is always seeking for the geographic north. So we will give it the name N both. And the other is always seeking for the south. So we will give it the symbol S, okay? So from the previous argument, we can conclude that we have n, don't write, okay, I'll tell you when uh, uh, you write, n magnetic pole and s magnetic pole. Okay, N magnetic pole and S magnetic pole. N magnetic pole is its geographic north seeking pole and S pole geographic south geo mean means the, the geographic okay seeking pole so any bar magnet has two magnetic poles, not less, no more. Again, not less, no more. I'm talking about the bar. Well, so the title that we are explaining now is the magnetic Abdurrahman Nader, Mr. I'm sorry. Okay, Abdurrahman, don't worry. Inshallah, kul khair. Tamimna, inshallah, Rabbil Amin. And bismillah, may not be any problem. Bismillah, tamimna. After that, that means okay. We show the recording. If you have any question, you can send it to me. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Inshallah, khair. Bas Rabbani yassalak umura. Okay. Inshallah. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, Tahir. So here, this is these are the two magnets. Okay, uh, 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 the the two magnetic poles. So now we are talking about the two magnetic poles. Okay, Tahir. This magnet is a permanent magnet. There is a question sent by um, Yusuf Osama. Yusuf Osama says a very reliable question. He, he, he says that 
Does this mean the permanent magnets are magnetic because their magnetic field is connected to the Earth? Sorry. No. No, Yusuf Osama, the magnetism is related to the internal structure of the substance, as I'll explain a few minutes later. Okay? Yani, uh, okay, but they take this direction because of the external magnetism of the Earth, because the Earth itself acts as a huge magnet. Okay? I hope you got uh, the idea. The man. Also, um, class uh, sent uh, some uh, questions. Um, are you, uh, Mister? If we broke the magnet, okay, I will talk about this point. It's a good question, class. Okay, and uh, uh, I, uh, this is the next point that I explain. Okay, don't worry. Um Mister, he means if we break. Are you okay? Okay, this is the next point, class. Okay. Uh, Montes, I think these are the questions. Sorry, uh, these are the questions th that you sent uh, in the chat till now. Well, before going on, let's uh, say that this experiment, this experiment, means there. Magnet always take the same direction or situation or position. The magnet terminals, terminals. always take the same directions, okay? And this phenomenon is used to determine the directions when we are traveling in plains, in deserts, okay? I know that, I know that we, we use uh, GPS now, okay? But I'm talking generally, okay? So uh, this phenomenon in front of us is used to make a very important tool which is used in travel and in laboratories, which is what? Who can guess? Huh? Who can guess? I'm waiting for, for your answers. So uh, this is the idea of the compass. This is the idea of what? Of the compass. Okay, so what is the compass? Because we will use it in Charlotte frequently. Okay, the compass is a tiny magnet. In other words, it's a tiny magnetic needle. Converted 
or rotates freely around on a pivot on a pivot at its mid point. Okay, so uh, this is the idea of the compass. This is the idea of the compass. Okay, Yani, if we uh, look at the compass, we will find the compass has this shape. Okay, part of the compass is red of the needle, and the other part is blue. Sometimes it's blue and sometimes it's black also, by the way. Okay, and it's fixed or rotated above a tip or uh, uh, some uh, um, tiny pivot also it rotates right and left like this So when it stops moving, when it's, when it's balanced, okay, its north will point to the north and its south will point to the south. Okay, so this is the north, the geographic north will be in this direction and the geographic south will be in this direction. This is the compass. And this is a tiny magnet or a magnetic needle. Is there? So be careful because I will talk about a very, very, very important point here. Concentrate. Number one. When? Compass, needle, balances. What's meant by balances? Yani stop moving. Kalas. It, it's N. It's N. The N of it. Yani this side. Okay. Points. Two, one of two things, one of two things. Who can tell me what is the first thing? Huh? Who can tell me where are your participation? I'm waiting for your participation. The end of the needle points to what, Yagamara? Excellent answer, class. Thank you. Points to the north, the geographic north. This is if there is no neighboring magnet. But what if there is a neighboring magnet? Will the neighboring magnet affect the needle or not? Huh? What is he? Or the needle will watch the, the geographic magnet and say, oh, magnet and magnetic field, hi. Huh? Will it be affected or not? I'm waiting for your answer, guys. Let's have a discussion. Keda Jamil, so we don't It will be affected. So 
if there is a neighboring magnet, in fact, it will show us another thing, which is not the geographic north. So what will it be in this, sir? It will be the direction. of the neighboring magnetic field of oh, oh. this point is a golden point, is an important point. It's an extremely important point. Okay, well, so this is our speech about the Compass. Well, now, uh, by the way, I'll send these boards. If someone uh, cannot uh, write all what we uh, wrote, I'll say you will find this vote in the photo library. Okay, I'll send it uh, in the photo library. And uh, as usual, inshallah, but I mean the record of this, uh, uh, this video will be uh, uploaded, inshallah, in class here in the uh, uh, not virtual classes, in the uh, video lectures. Well, so now important notes. We will talk about important notes. Note that. So I believe we didn't explain the process of demagnetization yesterday. Yes, uh, yes, we didn't do so. Uh, uh, Yusuf Osama, we will explain it today, inshallah. Not today, yani, uh, next period. Uh, I made this some kind of arrangement, okay? Uh, because of uh, uh, the, the, the new cameras and like something like that. So to avoid making them confused, okay? I made some kind of, uh, uh, of rearrangement till the, uh, yani, the number of students uh, balances and. Uh, uh, and so on, okay? Bye. Because it's uh, important, yeah. Well, so uh, here, well, thank you for uh, uh, telling me that. Uh, what is the first point? The first point is, for permanent magnet, for permanent magnet, In permanent magnet, in and is poles are in fixed positions. Yeah, and it's impossible to wake up someday to look at your magnet. Oh no, you changed your poles today. No, if it's permanent, the same N will say M. The same S, the, 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 the S four will say S. Some of you may ask me, Mister, that means in case of uh, temporary magnets, the situation will be not the same. Yes, the temporary magnet may change their polarity. Oh, oh. how, Mister? That's depending on what that's depending on the neighboring electric field. That's depending, depending on the 
field that's used to magnetize them, as we will explain, inshallah, I mean, later. So this is the point number one. The point number two, so this is only for permanent magnets. Point number two, if we have a magnet, in S magnet. If you have N S magnet, and we say, okay, I'll make a very amazing thing. What is it, mister? I'll separate the N magnet from the S magnet such that I have a single S magnet and a single N magnet. It's an amazing thing. For Soro, it will not be it will not be amazing. It will be nothing. Why? Because if you try to do this, you will not be able. Why? Because each S will induce neighboring N and each N will induce neighboring S, which means if you split the magnet into two parts, you will not get two single magnets, bar, bars. So I, I'll get what, Mr. You will get, you will get two smaller, smaller magnets. Hmm, yeah, I mean, this is the resulting, it will be N S, no, it will be N S N S. Mr. Type, okay, I insist, and I'll continue dividing, okay, continue. Again, 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 till reaching the atom itself, you, you will find the atom is a tiny magnet with N and S, O, O, even the atom, yes. So this phenomenon is called magnetic dipole, and the single magnet is impossible, is a myth. No single magnet pole, no magnetic pole, no single magnetic pole. We will stop here, inshallah, but in the next video, we will continue, okay? If you uh, uh, want to ask a question, you can ask. Now, I finished what I want to say for today. Alhamdulillah.